Really looking forward to getting to Memorial Stadium on Cal's campus. I'm going to call that one with Ted Robinson and Jill Savage as UCLA looking for their first victory of the season. They arrive on Saturday afternoon. This one kicks off at 4 o'clock Pacific right here on the Pac-12 Network. Now, when you look at storylines in this game, of course, big picture is Chip Kelly trying to get his first win. There's a lot of nuances there. Keep in mind, the defensive coordinator for UCLA is Jerry Azanero, formerly on Justin Wilcox staff just a year ago. So how does the defense of UCLA UCLA play against the offense of Cal and the offense of Cal we're still trying to figure out is it Brandon McElwain who played the entire game against Arizona clearly a dual threat quarterback I think right now the most explosive player for Cal on offense or do they go back with Chase Garbers at quarterback it will be interesting to see the dynamic and of course how UCLA will choose to defend both of them I think for the UCLA Bruins third down will be the biggest key they have to stop Conavai Noah the most consistent receiver for Cal throughout this season on the flip side, Dorian Thompson Robinson, keep in mind, he only started as a senior in high school at the quarterback position. Now he's five games in. That means just over 20 games he has started his entire life at the quarterback position, and it's only taken him about 20 games to settle in because last week he played his most complete game against the most elite defense, which was UW, in his young career. He looked extremely comfortable looking guys off, getting to his second and third receiver in his progression, and of course, using his legs. And I think his legs will the biggest key. Justin Wilcox is an expert at taking away the strength of quarterbacks, trying to make them left-handed. If he can do that and take away the arm of Dorian Thompson Robinson, I'm really curious about the second, third reaction plays he makes. When the play breaks down, he scrambles and gets out the pocket and see if he can make some plays with his legs and maybe even take some shots down the field. Overall, it's a really fun matchup. I think for Cal, they need this victory if they want to go bowling, which has been a big goal for this team when you go back to last offseason. And for the Bruins, looking for their first victory of the season to get closer and closer every week. Really looking forward to calling this one at 4 o'clock Pacific on the Pac-12 Networks.